All right, so no gloating. We're going to keep this very short and simple because this has been riding on the wall for a very long time. But it's like Vegeta fans really didn't want to acknowledge this and was trying to reach at straws and trying to make very egregious examples of like Vegeta Blue being able to hang with Granola and UI. Obviously, being written out of the story to give Vegeta shine, a lot of a lot of story events to happen so UI can come back later. Of course, with the Bardock story, it's like all this was pretty clear, but it was not just written in stone. And now we got confirmation that Goku is still stronger than Ultra Ego Vegeta. Um, uh, Super Saiyan, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, and current Gohan before Dragon Ball Super Hero. Um, and this is confirmed, um, you can see on the screen, because they're showing Ultra Ego Vegeta and showing all the, the Saiyans different powers. And they even break down how Goku, I mean, how Gohan, Vegeta, and Broly can surpass Goku. With them saying that Vegeta needs to learn Goku's weakness and use Goku's weakness to defeat him. Which Broly, he needs to learn about Son Goku's routine and the secret to Saiyan strength. And for Gohan, he needs to understand one's own weakness and become a vigilant uh, warrior himself. Um, and it's weird because I thought I would have felt like, you know, I was right. I was always right to laugh, laugh, har, har, laugh at everyone kept saying they destroyed me or whatever. But I just think it's kind of sad because I felt like if we didn't get into this whole debate on like who's really stronger and everything like that, I think we'll just enjoy the forms, the powers, these characters a lot more. Again, I know that's power scaling. I know that how all this stuff works, but yeah, um, Again, like this, this is coming from like a um, a recent article um, from the J Stab, the Jump Community, and just kind of breaking down how the, um, the Saiyans powers work from like Kaba going Super Saiyan, from Kel's uh, legendary Super Saiyan form to Kefla, and breaking down from Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan Two, Super Saiyan Three, Super Saiyan God, and Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, things like that. So the debate is over. Um, Goku. Ultra Instinct before whatever lesson he learns with from the Bardock storytelling currently in the drama super manga Ultra Instinct Goku currently despite him his accuracy dropping or him getting caught off guard by Granola and I have a video talking about actually I have a short breaking down why that happened because Yeah, it is bad writing, but you know is what it is Goku was always stronger than Ultra uh, Ultra Ego Vegeta Even Torotaro said that he caught up to Ultra Instinct Goku does not mean he surpassed him <laughs> so yeah, man, um, I hope, again, I'm never going to get an apology from all these people who've been slandering me for, like, months on end. I wish sometimes the Dragon Ball Super uh, manga was a weekly thing, but, yeah, so I hope no one, you know, blows a gasket behind it. It's pretty, it was pretty obvious where you have Blue Goku, who's using Ultra Instinct, who's obviously weaker than Perfect Ultras and Goku, being able to compete, uh, dodge, and do all the stuff that he should have done in Perfected Ultra Instinct. It just they didn't want him using it that early in that arc and winning. And they had Ultra 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 Ego Vegeta showing off his moves because it's a new form. And you want Vegeta to do his thing. So hope everyone can calm down or whatever. And if anyone disagrees, I don't really care. At this point, you're just being willfully ignorant. <laughs> okay. Does not mean I hate Vegeta. Does not mean I hate Gohan or Broly. Gohan is like my second favorite Dragon Ball character. Vegeta is like my third favorite. And I'm um, Broly. You know, I like Dragon Ball Super Broly more than I like Dragon Ball Z Broly. Um, but yeah, I'm very busy. I just had to make this video really short. Sorry I couldn't get this to 10 minutes, do all the YouTube ag random stuff, or even make this a short. I just want to just make it very clear here, okay? If, if it gets toxic, I can come back later and do my, my joking and laughing and all that type of stuff. But... I just think it's kind of sad that it got this deep with a lot of people um, with constant, like, always remember Ultra Ego Vegeta stronger than Ultra than Goku. It just got very toxic and just, it's not even a fanboy thing. It's just Goku stronger. <laughs> That's it. That's all it is. Sons of Job Peace. Love you all.